Hi Ingrid here from Open Journey. I want to show you a very quick process video on uh, how I work through the daily readings for this um, this year's beautiful land cat, which is the last cat in the beautiful series. I hope you enjoyed this series. It was a uh, it was quite a blessing to be able to make this series for the past six months, and uh, now that it's coming to an end. It is bittersweet, it is a relief, but also um, I know I will be starting a new series in the in the spring. So through the land I will be pondering and developing the new series for, for the upcoming year. So thank you so much for, for all your support and all your prayers because it was a hard, it was a hard time, but amazingly all these devotionals kind of were very timely and spoke to us in a very pertinent way. So this is the this is the devotional for the for the land kit. But also I have also I have a separate add-on kit which contains the daily readings and quite an amount of stickers and and words and meditation uh, phrases that go with each daily reading so it kind of helps you journal throughout it's enough material to journal throughout the entire through the entire Lent season. Last year I used this lovely Rolodex. It's a it's a smaller one. I have I have a larger one but I find which is really really cool I got it at a thrift store even the cards are bigger, so I like that you have a little bit more room to journal. Oh, I haven't looked at these in a while. It's cool to see them. So the cards are bigger, as you can see, but it takes so much space on a table. So my friend Terry Shaver gave me this one, and I really like how tiny it is. So. I started last year doing every day of the Lent one of these cards with the daily word focus and um, and the reading because I think for the past few Lents I've been doing this. I think this is the third year when we have the gospel reading or this year I only have readings from the New Testament. I focus on one word. It's just a very beautiful practice and very useful practice of Lectio Divina. You can pick any word it really stands out to you but just as a guide you can use this and for each day we have a word or phrase to focus on and for today February 18th is repent and believe in the gospel. Yesterday was follow me. So I want to show you how I started this year. So past land, I really found that very useful to do this because it's really not a big commitment to kind of journal on a on a small card like this. And honestly, you can just use the included tear out the included word and maybe use a stamp or something like that. And um, it's just so beautiful. So I think for a while I said that all I'm going to use is stamps and very small stickers and it was really cool cool challenge to do I also used the um, kind of the postal stamps stickers which work perfectly for this small journaling card so and I had them on my desk and it was so great to just look through them and look at these keywords and it's such a good way to memorize the verse and it just draws you back right to the uh, Bible passage. It's almost like you're reading it all over again. Yeah, so this was last year. These are so cool. So I loved doing this. So I, I said for sure I want to do this this year as well. It's cool. Be reconciled. A 
And sometimes I use, I think this is one of the cards, one of the Bible verse cards for the names of Jesus that I cut down. Another one of the cards. I also punched the ticket that come um, with most of kits. The Heidi Swap Punch and it's really cool that you can... Uh, this must be a standard size because this fits my old roll decks. So they fit perfectly in here, these tickets, and they are, they are great to use. So this was my first card for Ash Wednesday. I use the name, Names of Jesus stamp here from the Trust set as a cool reminder, as I was mentioning in the Trust devotional, to pick a name of Jesus to kind of carry you through the year and um, and sustain you and uphold you. So for me it was, uh, I like from Revelation 1.8, I'm the Alpha and Omega, I'm the Almighty. So I thought that would be a great thing to start the Lent with. I also added one of the one of the small Polaroids and I added a tab on the side. I just sewed it on and just marked it as Lent. I'm using the the packaging cards for the Polaroids and the tickets to punch out the tabs. I'm gonna use this one right here. So keep those, don't throw them away. I'm gonna use for today's card. I did other ones, I did the cross daily. They will fast, which is such a beautiful reminder of uh, Jesus as the bridegroom. And um, that follow me for yesterday. And for today, I'm gonna show you how quickly these cards come together. I did use some distress sprays just to give it a, a richer background. I will put the tab on the opposite side of the previous one so it's just easier to see them. I'm just gonna sew this quickly on. Sew it on and I'm gonna use the February 18th is repent and believe in the gospel. I love that word repent there, which if you look at the Greek word, it's the metanoia. The word metanoia, which means, which means to change your mind, to reconsider and how, what a gentle actually Repent sounds harsh, but when you say reconsider, turn back to God, such a gentle and um, wonderful way God, God is asking us to turn back to Him. So because this is a longer word, you could just use repent. But I'm going to use the whole phrase and then I'm just going to put it at the top of the, of the card. These are great, they're stickers. Repent and believe in the gospel. So these small stickers work perfectly for, for little surfaces or big surfaces, but they are perfect for these cards. And I'm just gonna use this one. And also combined with the tiles which I used for previous cards. And also each one of the stamps has one Omer there. What a beautiful reminder of a daily grace. I also used one of these tiles from the first stamp set that came the beautiful kit I'm using the aged mahogany the 
the distressed oxide. And here is how the, this card turned out. I stamped metanoia over here for the word repent. Metanoia is the Greek for repent. So this is my current setup for the for the Lent journal. If I have mentioned before, I'm using the same journal that I started the beautiful series in. Here I, I sewed some of the small Polaroids to the orange ribbons that the kit comes wrapped in. It's such a beautiful little bookmark. So this so is for Ash, Ash Wednesday. I used the printable. I, I sent an email out, a newsletter with uh, this printable in. I sent it a few years ago, maybe a couple of years ago. Out, but I, I wanted to use it this year so I thought might as well send it again in case you didn't download it then or for the new subscribers so because because it's a ring binder it's uh, highly customizable you can just punch your holes and uh, just add whatever pages you want to it um, added some of the tickets I just uh, punched them this is one of the die cuts that comes with the kit and of course I'm using all over the um, the mixed media lent uh, washi tape. This is just um, works so well with everything in the kit. I, I just love it. Here, I even used one of the cards, and I already punched the punched the little tab, but I left it in because it's a little window that says Holy Spirit back there. And here, it just happens says Jesus, so that uh, works. This is one of the uh, Bible verse cards from uh, Come With Me. I did a series of uh, Bible verse cards for Lent, and I really loved this. And uh, rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. So I love that very much. It's a good reminder for praying during Lent. I'm just going to show you the... I put a little strip on the back of um, one of the... These are... These journal and tickets are from the With You With You kit. And I still have them in the shop. I really love the rich oranges that are in there. They work well, of course. And I, I put this here, the daily readings, just to have, um, have it always uh, with me. And it's very easy to just... I'll take a quick peek there. So, so I have many pages set up for for journaling through the 40 days. I think I have probably more than I need. Than I need. The Psalm of the Cross is just so beautiful. Um, way to meditate and so amazing for this Lent. And I think I will have more than enough. And you can, if you do something like this, it's very easy to, if a page doesn't work for your current journaling, you can just switch it around, move it back, or bring another page forward. So this is a beautiful setup. So I'm very excited to work through the land. And if I don't have time to work in the journal, I will just uh, focus on a very quick journaling on the on the roll deck cards. So hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this again. We are working right now with the beautiful Lent kit, the last kit in the beautiful series, and I will be back definitely with more process um, videos. Please leave below any questions you might have. Or if you want to see something in particular, thank you so much. I hope you have a very blessed Lent filled with um, encounters with our Lord. Thank you so much.